my understanding is that this deal has not been consummated. The central bank has to give ultimate regulatory approval before there can be any finalization of this acquisition. You asked me about it last Friday. I was trying to be careful because I did not want to appear to be personalizing what is, in fact, an extremely consequential, critical issue and a process that the central bank will have to demonstrate that it has carried out in terms of the scrutiny before uh, it can give approval that the central bank will have to prove to people that it has done in a completely thoroughgoing and professional way. Um, I still am trying to treat this somewhat differently in terms of I've gone off about all the other things having to do uh, with, the, with BTL and, and the registry and so on. Uh, confidence is so important in our financial sector that I, I, I must be, be scrupulous in trying to, to guard my words. You know, the Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited, as far as I've been able to determine, as of December 31st, 2019, held 47% of commercial bank loans. Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited retain 50% of assets. Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited, 48% of deposits. Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited, 57% of current year profits. Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited, 60% of equity. Belize Bank and Scotia Bank Limited, 76% of quarterly net income. Belize Bank's weighted average lending rate, from what I saw, is 20% higher than Atlantic Bank Limited, for example. If this proposed acquisition is to be approved by the Central Bank of Belize, whose jurisdiction it is, uh, it would put the Belize Bank in a dominant position.